Monday. I know it's Tuesday, but let's turn back the clock and pretend it's Monday. Um, I was actually out of town. Um, I was in Bloomington. We were doing a mascot video for the IU Foundation for IU Day, which is on April 19th. Well, now I'm back. So Tuesday, Tuesday Chappy Chats. I got a new hat and I got my hair cut. What's been going on this past weekend? The Super Bowl happened. Tom Brady's GOAT. Uh, five Super Bowl rings. Congrats to him. That's awesome. 25 point lead. But we're not here to talk about the Super Bowl. I'm not a football expert. I am here to talk about the commercials. Here we go with that. The Terry Bradshaw Tide commercial could not have been the most misleading commercial ever because they started out like right before the Super Bowl kicked off I think and they were like stay tuned the Super Bowl's next or something or maybe it was halftime show and I was like hey he's got a stain on his shirt and then not 10 minutes later they continue with the Tide commercial and the one thing I noticed when they're sitting on the couch what happened to your pants Terry you only had the stain on your shirt why was he not wearing pants on the couch Humpty Dumpty TurboTax was kind of cool. You know, you can do your taxes wherever, whenever you want. Car commercials are so out there. The the biker gang, where they were in the, the biker clubhouse, or the tall guy walks in, he's like, blocked in, blocked in. And they walk out there, and it's a Mercedes-Benz blocking them in, and then he drives off, and it's a Mercedes-Benz commercial. Every car commercial was like that, where it was completely unrelated to cars, and then car commercial. The, the beer commercials weren't bad. The Spud Bud Light commercial was probably my favorite. It was a really cool story. I know it was really out there, and the Bud Budweiser commercial was kind of cool. I guess it kind of showed the history background of Budweiser and how it came to be. Bush Light commercial was probably my second favorite one. The guy pulls the six pack out of the water and then he opens up the can. Bush and he tries covering it with his hand. The animals are like looking at him. That was pretty entertaining. On the Skittles one, where he was throwing the Skittles through the window, and then it went through a bunch of people. First Katie was there, dad, mom, police officer, and then when the groundhog popped up, I think I lost it. There was a robber in there too. Where's the Doritos commercial? I didn't see one. A little cool ranch. But the Wix, I think it was called Wix. There were two commercials. So it's about this chef trying to set up a website describing his business. Jason Statham, Gal Gadot. What a good choice. The Transporter and Wonder Woman in a commercial together beating bad guy butt. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. It kind of shows like the evolution of like the different ideas. Like something pushes you down. They had an all out battle in his restaurant and then Gal Gadot was like, can I get this to go? Boom, food truck. The other commercial continues when he's trying to set up his website for the to go truck. Jason Statham, Statham, he comes in through the sunroof of the food truck, jumps in the driver's seat and the chef is still in the back seat and Gal Gadot hops in the shotgun and they drive drive away from people chasing them and it flies off a bridge eventually and it lands on a cruise ship and so then he makes food cruise or something but I wonder how it feels to be that chef. <laughs> At the very end of the second commercial, Jason and Gal are on uh, a boat heading towards his boat, and he's like, the look on his face is priceless. The Melissa McCarthy, like, roadside assistance ones, they made her kind of like a cartoon character. Um, like, save the whales, and the whale landed on her boat, and got flipped all the way backwards and landed on the, the very front of the boat, and then she got, like, kind of slowly peeled off, and then her outline shape was still there. She was on an iceberg, and she put the sign into the ice, and then it actually broke off the cliff of the ice and she was trying to hang there But then she like fell and then she just landed right on a piece of ice She was in the safari and the rhino actually started chasing her and when the rhino started to hit her with it with the, the horn all of my friends that were here just went oh Because we thought that we thought the horn went right up her butt So they kind of displayed her as like a cartoon character She always got hurt in a way, but she was never died or really really got hurt My last two are my my all-time favorite ones the Cam Newton, Miranda Kerr, Buick commercial. The car pulls in and the two dads are sitting in the bleachers. That's a Buick, my son's Cam Newton. Steps up to the line and transforms into Cam Newton. It's a Pee Week football league. All the kids on the opposite team just have these looks. 
they just crapped themselves. One of the kids is open. He's like, I'm open, I'm open. And then right when he's about to throw the ball at him, he's like, no, 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 no. And he guns one at him. And the kid flies like 20 yards backwards in the end zone. <laughs> And then he holds it up when he's laying. So good. All-time favorite commercial where I think I laughed at the most is the Mr. Clean commercial. He got so dirty. I mean, eventually it, it, it turns out to be her husband, but she's picturing Mr. Clean with all the cleaning materials, and he's getting, like, really sexual. It was awesome. Those are my favorite Super Bowl commercials. I think I kind of listed off most of them. Go ahead and post your comments like you usually do. Uh, next week I'll be on time on Monday. I got some really good feedback this weekend. One of our worship leaders gave me a really good compliment on the videos. And he says that he cracks up at them every week. Hopefully it just keeps growing because I really like making this video every week. Thanks for the support, everybody. Really appreciate it. With that being said, uh, like, subscribe, comment, do what you need to do. Have a good week, everybody. We'll see you uh, next Monday. Gotta get me some more Doritos.